Hi everyone and welcome. In this video we will see installation guide of General Electric iFix HMI SCADA software. Okay, and the iFix version we are going to install is version 2023. You can download iFix from this General Electric website. I will provide this link in the description of this video. You can open this link and you can fill this form and after that you will get download link once you click on the submit. Okay, so I have already downloaded the iFix HMI SCADA software trial version and it is on my desktop. I have already extracted it and now we will open this folder and we will proceed with the installation. So to proceed with the installation you need to double click on this setup.bat file. Okay, so just double click on this setup.bat file and wait for a few minutes. Okay, so you can see here, welcome to the iFix 2023 suite. You can install iFix from this suite. Okay, now we want to install is we want to install SCADA standalone server. So we are going to choose this one. Okay, and if you want to install SCADA client or some common components, then you can select as per your requirement. But to install the main SCADA software, okay, the standalone server, we are going to choose SCADA standalone server and then we will press start. Okay, after that we have to accept the license agreement. So again, we need to click on the accept. Then after installation location and I fix node name. I will leave it as it is. The installation suit is checking for port TCP port conflicts. Okay, so you can see all green. There is no port conflicts. So we will good to go and we will press next here. Okay, if you want to enable the historian security, then you can enable this one. Otherwise, you can see historian data path. If you want to change the data path, then you can change, but I don't want to change it. So I will leave it as it is and I'll press next again. Okay. You can see ready to install. So we are ready to install the iFix HMI SCADA version 2023 software with the SCADA industrial gateway server, productivity tools, historian collector and historian server. So all I have to do is press on start button to start installing. So you can see it is an installation option and you can see it is installing. So we will wait until our installation gets completed. Okay. And it will take a little more time. So you need to be patient and you need to wait until our installation gets completed.
Okay, so as you can see here, our iFix HMI SCADA software installation is done. And also you can see on my desktop, we have so many shortcuts for iFix HMI SCADA application. Okay, now we have to press on close to finish our installation. So you can see here reboot required. Okay, now we want to reboot your system, then you can click on this reboot now. If you don't want to reboot your system, then you can select reboot later. Or if you want to install more software with the ifix then you can click on the install more products so i have click on the install more products now you can see you can install scada client common component and everything you want to install you can install along with the ifix hmi scada standalone server okay i am not going to install this software for now this video is just to demonstrate the how to install scada standalone server for ifix version 2023 okay so now we will close this one okay are you sure you want to exit so we will press on yes here so you can see here our ifix hmi scada application is installed successfully okay i will provide this link in the description of this video you can download at ifix hmi scada software from this link okay and you can follow our video for the complete installation guide so if you have any question or any concern or any doubt then you can ping me on the whatsapp telegram instagram or you can also comment on the video so we will meet you in the next video till then take care goodbye and thank you